Hi and welcome everyone. Today we have a video request from Jair. Jair says, I'm having trouble importing Excel files from my computer. It just says error. I don't know if it's my computer or I don't know if I'm doing it right. Can you make a video on it please? All right Jair, so I'm gonna make that video right now. Um, I'm not sure if you're importing the files to your access database to a current table or to a brand new table. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this both ways. All right, so right here we see an access uh, database. All I have is one table in it. Um, so I want to get my Excel file into this access database. So this is the Excel file that I created. It's pretty standard. Um, whenever you take an Excel file and put it into access, it doesn't really need any formatting on it, right? Because access is a database program. So you could basically just write in whatever data you need with all of the Excel data for, uh, default formatting, and it should be ready to go right from there. So I'm gonna take this file here and I'm gonna put it into an access table. So I'm gonna close out of this right now. You need to make sure that your Excel file is currently closed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go uh, into my access area and I'm gonna go to the external data tab. So you click on external data and to move Excel into there, you go to import and link, right? Cause import means it's coming into the access database. And so then I'm gonna choose this icon right here for Excel. So I click on Excel and then it's going to open up this dialog box called get external data. And I need to specify the source of the, defini or of the definition of the object. I click on browse and then I find the area where that is located and I find it right here on my desktop. And so you'll find whatever file you need. And then you can choose one of these three options. I'm gonna import the source data into a new table in this case. So I go right here and I click OK. And then we see the data is all showing up here correctly. Now keep in mind the first row, these are uh, column headings. So I need to make sure that this checkbox is checked, right? So first row is column headings. I click Next. I go right here. This is where I could specify the different data types for the heading. So if I wanted to change this to say a currency, I could do that right here. And so I could change all those if I want. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to change anything. And then I'm gonna click next. This is where I could choose my primary key. If you don't know what the primary key is, I made a video on that just earlier today. So check that one out. But I'll choose my primary key as the item ID field. All right, and then I'll click next. And then this is where I can call call it a name. I'll just call it inventory uh, and then I'll click finish. All right, so then it'll ask me, do I wanna save the import steps? I'm not going to save them in this case and I'll click on close. And then we'll see right over here, inventory has now appeared. All right, good. So let's say uh, I open this up. I see all 14 rows of data. That right there is how you import to uh, Microsoft Excel. Now, or Microsoft Access rather. Now I mentioned earlier that uh, Jair, I'm not sure if you're trying to import to current table. So I created this 1E inventory table here. And so I created this keeping in mind that um, all of the information should be the exact same on all of the columns, right? So this is my original source in Excel here. And I see it says item ID, item, category, campus, so on and so forth. All of these things need to be perfectly spelled if you're importing to a current table. So you can see all the column names need to be uh, correctly spelled as well as the records below should have the same type of formatting. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna import all of these records here onto these records here. So we should have three more than we had before. So I closed out of Excel and now I'm gonna go again to the uh, external data tab. I'm gonna to go to import and link and I'm gonna click Excel just like last time. I'm gonna find the file in the same spot as last time. I'll double click it. And then I'll go right here to append this time. And this time I'm gonna move it to the 1E inventory table, the one I just showed you. It's right here and it's open. Um, typically you do wanna close out of the table. Uh, so I'm gonna just close that. But um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna move it straight to that table. So again, I go to append 1E inventory. I click okay. It recognizes everything. I click next. And this time I'll call it uh, the same thing, obviously. And I'll click finish and close. And now if I open this up, 
you should see 17 records here, right? The three we originally had as well as the 14 that we imported in. So the biggest problem or the biggest issue that students have when they try to do this is that the students uh, don't spell the names of the columns correctly on Excel and Access. That's the main error that you'll get. So Jair, make sure that you're doing that correctly. Uh, for everyone else that's watching, make sure that you, again, type the field names and the column names perfectly the same, no extra spaces, nothing like that. Otherwise, uh, the programs won't be able to communicate those errors. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't already. And hopefully this helps you out. I have a lot of videos on Access, Excel, uh, Word, and PowerPoint, as well as how to get certified in those. So if you have a request yourself, put a comment in the comment section, and I'll be happy to make a video for you as well. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you again soon.